Ragnachar or Ragnarius was a Frankish petty king who ruled from Cambrai. According to Gregory of Tours, Ragnachar was so unrestrained in his wantonness that he scarcely had mercy for his own near relatives, an attribute he shared with his contemporary fellow king and relative Clovis. In 486, Ragnachar allied with Clovis, who was king of the Salian Franks, in order to attack Siagrius, the Roman ruler of the domain of Soissons, after Clovis was baptized a Christian in 496. About half of the 6,000 or so Frankish warriors who formed the armies of the various Reguli refused to join him and cleaved to Ragnachar, still a traditional pagan. Hinkmar of Reims writes in his biography of Saint Remigius, Finally, many of the army of the Franks, not yet converted to the faith, followed the king's relative Ragnachar across the Somme for some distance. Ragnachar was reputed to divide all the gifts or food he received between himself and his favorite, a counselor named Faro, and have a saying, enough for me and my Faro. This practice Gregory says enraged the other Franks, and when Ragnachar's spies came back from observing the movements of Clovis's army, they are reported to have said it was of sufficient strength for you and your faro. Before he defeated him in 509, Clovis took advantage of their disaffection and bribed Ragnachar's military followers, his lewds, with armlets and belts that were made to resemble gold but were only bronze gilded so as to deceive and thus deprived him of his support. Clovis then went on to war against him. The Ludes captured Ragnachar and his brother Richard while they were fleeing after their defeat in battle. They brought them, hands tied behind their backs, to Clovis. Gregory reports that Clovis asks Ragnachar, Why have you humiliated our family in permitting yourself to be bound? It would have been better for you to die. He then killed him with an axe and told Richard, If you had aided your brother, he would not have been bound before killing Richar in the same way. Ragnachar's other brother, Rignoma, was later killed on Clovis's orders at Le Mans. At their death all of their family's riches and Ragnachar's kingdom passed to Clovis. Hinkmar's account of Ragnachar continues with his subsequent defeat, noting that the Ludes followed him until the grace of Christ cooperating. The glorious victory obtained, that same Ragnachar, submitting to the shame of baseness, was bound by his own Franks to be handed over. King Clovis killed him and all the people of the Franks by the blessed Remedius were converted to the faith and received baptism. Bibliography Batrach, Bernard. Merovingian Military Organization, 481-751. Minneapolis. University of Minnesota Press, 1972. Batrach, Bernard. Procopius and the Chronology of Clovis's Reign, Viata, 1, 21-31. Dill, Samuel. Roman Society in Gaul in the Merovingian Age, London. Macmillan, 1926. Gregory of Tours. History of the Franks, Trans. E. Brehout, A Records of Civilization II. New York, Columbia University Press, 1916. Hinkmar of Reims. Vita Remigi Episcopi Remensis, Trans. B. Crush, Monumenta Germania Historica, SSR. Morov. 3. Hanover, 1896. Kurth Godefroy. Clovis. Paris, 1896. Wallace Hadrill, M. The Long-Haired Kings and Other Studies in Frankish History, London, Butler and Tanner, 1962.